Okay, my name's John Horsey. This is Chew Valley Lake. Um, I've been a professional guide here for the last 29 years. And getting here this morning just fills my heart with joy because it's flat calm. Now, most fishermen dread flat calms. Uh, fish love flat calms. And to me, I want to fish when the fish like it, not when the anglers like it. So we're hoping today that there'll be some rising fish. We've already seen plenty rising across the lake, but if there's no rising fish, there are other ways to catch them. So at the moment, what we're trying to think of is maybe trying to pick some fish off on dries. And if that doesn't work, I've got a three foot ghost tip and I'm going to try some nymphs a little bit deeper. So let's hope we get a few. two ways really of approaching a flat calm. One is to try and find some rising fish and then you target them with dries. The other way, if there's no rising fish, is to try and find some fish a bit deeper on nymphs. And by using something like this, which is a Cortland three foot ghost tip, it gets the flies down a little bit better. It seems to present them at a better depth. So if you use a fairly heavy fly on the point, with say a 15 or an 18 foot leader, and a couple more nymphs on the droppers, you can fish effectively at three different levels. So that's what I'm trying to do here. So once I've cast out and I've let it settle, and I'm maybe counting it down to five or 10 seconds or whatever, doing the retrieve but with nymphs it's normally a steady slow retrieve but you can speed it up you can put some quick figure of eights into your retrieve or maybe a long pull like that just to make those flies move slightly in the water and if you imagine in your mind's eye that there's a fish following then you might see it actually move up like that and it might make it grab it which is what I'm trying to do but a lot of people make a mistake of lifting off too far out and it's really important to hang your flies at the end of every retrieve. You don't need to leave them for ages, but it's really avoiding just lifting those flies straight off the water. So when you've come to the end of the retrieve like this, rather than just lift it up and cast, you bring them up one at a time. So you bring your top dropper up, there's nothing following it. You bring your middle dropper up, and then your point. If there's nothing following it, you just lift off and cast again. Rainbows and their brands, but that's a beautiful fish, so back you go, mate. 